Hello everyone, today in Microsoft Excel we're going to be discussing a few macros, specifically Worksheet Activate and Worksheet Change. Now in order to set this up, first you got to make sure your macros are enabled, so please make sure those are all set up. And we'll explain a few scenarios as to why you may want to do this with your workbook or your worksheet. So let's go, let's get right into it. I'm going to go on and select the Visual Basic Environment. And first, you're going to select the sheet that you want to work with. In this case, let's just do sheet one. And by default, when you go in, there's not going to be any code. But what you'll do is go to your worksheet on the left. And on the right, let's just do the one that says change. Now, to show you what change does, we're just going to do a message box, target.address. So what this is going to do, anytime you make a change in this worksheet, let's say we type in anything here, let's put the number one, hit enter. Microsoft Excel is going to notify you of what cell was just changed. So let's just say that you didn't want anybody to make a change to D5. Now notice it's $D, $5. This is what we can do. If target address equals $D, $5, then, and then we've got to make sure we close our if statement. All we're going to do is reset that cell to our own value. We'll do sheets, sheet one, dot range, and we'll do D5 is equal to do not modify this cell. No parentheses is closed required for that. All right, so let's just go on and try to modify this same cell again. Testing. Oh, we actually got a debug error. Now, if you notice, we got a debug error, and the reason behind that is because we're actually making a change to this cell. What you're going to want to do is go on and hit stop temporarily disable the events in Excel and this will ignore these kind of events that, that occur. Application.enable events equals false. Change it up. Change the value of the sheet of the cell. Then application.enable events equals true. This should correct our error. Testing one. And there you have it. So Microsoft Excel prevented you from getting into an infinite loop since every time of that that cell is changed, that code would be executed. But this will save that process from happening, temporarily enabling the events and then re-enabling them. The other macro that we're going to discuss is just the activate. Activate will simply you can put in your own code as to what you want to do when the worksheet is activated if you want to do anything at all. To give you an example, message box, you have just selected sheet one. Now nothing will happen since we're already in sheet one, but let's just say that uh, your user was to navigate to a different sheet, sheet two, sheet three. Let's go back to sheet one. We're gonna get a message box saying you have just selected sheet one because in the Visual Basic environment, we had sheet one selected and we're looking at worksheet the activate feature well this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching thank you